What's living in Cave Spring really like? Hey, it's Hal and Chris Cohn with Cohn Realty Group here. Today, we're gonna to give you a driving tour of Cave Spring and a few of the subdivisions that are super popular over here. If you're getting value out of any of the content we're providing you, please make sure you like and subscribe. And hey, if you're thinking about moving to or within Roanoke Valley or Smith Mountain Lake, please give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We would love to be your realtors. So one of the biggest requests we continue to get are driving tours of the various neighborhoods throughout the Roanoke Valley. So today, we thought we'd give, give you a few subdivisions here within Cave Spring yeah. proper so you can get a feel for exactly what you're going to see when you get here. Yeah, so hop on in, buckle up that seatbelt, and enjoy because we're going to take you on a private tour of this area and some of the subdivisions. There you have it. Let's go. So today we're going to be driving through some of the Cave Spring area. We're going to go through the Canterbury area subdivision. We're going to go through Penn Forest. And then we're also going to go through Bridalwood. I mean, there are more subdivisions over here, and we'll give you some driving tours of those as yes. well. But based on time, we're going to give you three highly desirable ones today. Uh, some things to know about Cave Spring. It is Cave Spring singular, not plural. There is no S on the end. I, so. let, me, let me just say, okay, that is a surefire way for people to know that you're not from around here. That's true. If you say Cave Springs. So... <laughs> say cave spring because it is singular mm -hmm. yeah but it, that's funny absolutely yeah so so like we said you know three next subdivisions we're gonna go through today in general cave spring uh it's it has three high schools and three middle schools two of those are public and one of those is private so north cross is a private school in the cave spring area so if you're looking for a private school you'll have the opportunity here uh in cave spring and here is penn forest Elementary. elementary school um this and is Darryl also Shell park yes. where chris yeah played her t-ball in her younger days i spent many hours at that t-ball field that softball field and you know we were just at south county library a new newer library that is beautiful it's really it's set in this majestic mountain setting <laughs> and it is a beautiful resource to the community they always have something going on I yeah, love that. Yeah, when we came in, the the uh, the sign, the electronic sign there was like scrolling through all sorts mm -hmm. of things that are happening this summer. Uh, they had some STEM projects. Uh, yeah. They had something with anime there. So you name it, you can get plugged in the South County Library and have lots of stuff to do and enjoy yourself. They have a really big children's program as well. So mm -hmm. programs for ranging from adults to seniors all the way down to toddlers and infants. So love that. Yeah. And Back to Cave Spring proper, you know, we, there's about 26,000 individuals uh, that live in the Cave Spring area. Uh, again, this is Cave Spring. It also encompasses Hidden Valley some as well. So those are the school systems you're gonna, you're gonna be looking at whenever you move here, uh, when you're researching Cave Spring area. Okay, so we are heading into the Penn Forest area now, as far as the actual Penn Forest proper neighborhood, which has Neighborhoods on each side of Chaparral here. So Penguins over there, you've got like Flamingo coming up on the right. Uh, but you know, really uh, popular destination when it comes to uh, purchasing a property that's in the Cave Spring area proper. And, and the houses here are gonna be, what we figure out today is like $320,000 your average mm -hmm. uh, purchase price over here in Penn Forest and you know so that means you've got some that are above some that are below that right so, right uh, you know this is gonna be one of your more affordable areas when you're looking at Cave Spring and it's really close to amenities I mean I, I love that it's very close to a Tanglewood Mall some of the doctor's offices lots of restaurants in this area and it's pretty walkable especially when you get down into the cul-de-sac areas or the side streets but as you had kind of alluded to, all of the streets are named after birds. So that's pretty easy to distinguish. But again, Penn Forest area, a lot of people choose to, to live in this area. There's a lot to see. And this is the Cave Spring High School. You had mentioned high schools earlier. There's Cave Spring, Hidden Valley, and as you mentioned, there's North Cross, which is a public, I mean, excuse me, it's a private school. Yeah, and so this is, they just did a whole big renovation over the last couple of years here at Cave Spring High School. Mm -hmm. uh, with it being so popular, mm -hmm. student population has increased, so they wanted to make sure that they could 
accommodate the increase in uh, in students. So that's what they've done. Super nice, real pretty school now. Mm -hmm. uh, updated and modern. Let's give you a little geography lesson here. Uh, you know, we always talk about uh, Roanoke City being that little center of the donut, and then we've got Roanoke County that goes around it, right? So Cave Spring actually sits in the southwest part of Roanoke County. Mm -hmm. So you'll hear it referred to as South County or Southwest County, uh, as well as Cave Spring. So those are your, uh, that's your geography lesson on <laughs> where Cave Spring is situated. That's right. <laughs> so as you can see, as we're going through here with Penn Forest, you're gonna have multiple styles of homes, right? So uh, you're gonna have your split foyers, you'll have some colonials, you'll have some ranches. Uh, but uh, split foyers are definitely popular mm -hmm. over here. Uh, so you'll see that here. We're just showing more of the houses, y'all. So one thing you'll notice as we're driving around through this Cave Spring Pen Forest area is that there's some meandering curves and mature trees, which really is nice. It makes it feel like a nice established neighborhood. Um, the streets are a little bit wider. There are no sidewalks, so just note that. And as we're driving through, I keep seeing homes that we've helped clients buy or sell, and I'm like, oh yeah. So it's really yeah, neat. Snow goose. We got some yes. clients to live down there. Yes, we do. But there's also hills too. So if you're coming from a place that's relatively flat, um, take a look at these inclines and angles. You'll see that uh, we do have some mountainous areas, but usually it's not too too bad. Yeah, like she said, you know, we've got wider streets over here in Pin Forest, so that way you can walk. You know, don't have sidewalk, so you know you you will be able to get outside and you'll get some good exercise because you do have those hills, right? Yeah, you'll typically see a lot of people walking around, walking their dogs, and that's how you build community too, right? We talk about that a lot. If you ever want to meet your neighbors, buy a dog. That's right, for sure. Get out there, walk with the dog, and you're going to make all sorts of new friends. That's right. Hey, we actually looked at that house when we were thinking about moving. That's weird, isn't it? It is weird to see houses because we looked at like 20 houses. We but, yeah. Hey, we had a lot of inventory then, so we had plenty of options to look at for like three or four days when we were on that mass blitz of uh, finding a house. That's right. <laughs> we had a lot to choose from. We did. We were very fortunate. Okay, so we're fixing to come up on North Cross, which we told you about, and it's actually, I think it's kindergarten all the way through high school. Mm -hmm. So it's a private school here in Cave Spring. Uh, they did renovations on it over the last few years as well. So they've expanded that campus uh, a whole lot. Mm -hmm. They've got gymnasium, they've got a, uh, a pool there where they actually host swim meets. Uh, so Yeah, the Carter Athletic Center. It's really nice. Yeah, we and we've um, done some swim lessons there in the pool. It's really neat. So, so they've got a swim team that's uh, mm -hmm. like the rec. That's right, team, the right? Marlins. The Marlins are housed They're there. They're good too. Yeah. And hey, across the street from North Cross is Promenade Park, where you're gonna find a lot of amenities. A lot. We've got restaurants there, local merchants, yeah, you got and wine shopping. Gourmet. Got the Medmont Mercantile, which is part of the wine gourmet now. Oh, and Duck Donuts. Duck Donuts. Big donut fan. <laughs> Sherwin Williams, so you get ready to move into the house, you're ready to paint. Find a paint cell at Sherwin Williams and make sure uh, you get your paint on there. Yes. And then on the right side is an entire plaza to the West, West Village. Village. Yep. You got Finks, which is an upscale jewelry store, mm -hmm. but aren't all jewelry store stores upscale? And you've got the Cafe Asia 2 is inside of there. Um, so really, really good at um, Chinese food. Yes. And then Chris likes Asian, to get sushi yeah. there too, right? Mm-hmm. Their, their sushi is great. And then we've got elderberries. They even have a farmer's market here set up on the weekends. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Don't they have a kid's market? Kids. It's like where children can make crafts and they sell them. So earrings, soaps, whatever they're making, I think that's a great idea. So what we consider the Cave Spring Corners area right here now, and you'll see a Walgreens over here. Just on the back side of that's Kroger, which is you know, one of our main grocery stores, right? Like Kroger and Food Lion 
are the two main spots you're going to be able to shop for your groceries here in the Roanoke Valley. But we also have Fresh Market, Roanoke Natural Food Co-op, as well as Nature's Whole Foods. Nature's Outlet, Whole Foods. We don't have Whole I Foods. mean, not Whole Foods. Earth, Earth Fair. Fair. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Earth Fair. Sorry to get your hopes up there I for know, Whole Foods. And no Trader Joe's. We got a big petition. Everybody and their brothers trying to get Trader Joe's here, but that would be great. don't have one yet. So right now we're going down Brambleton and on the left is Brambleton Plaza and it has Ramini's in there, which is a delicious Italian restaurant. Yes. I really enjoy that place. Yeah, Express Family Care over here on the right. So they have a location here and in North Reno County over in Bonzac and they diagnosed my appendix almost yes. rupturing yeah. and got me to the hospital fast. and had surgery and 24 hours later I was in good shape so and then we've got over here on the left side as well we've got a second Kroger here in <laughs> K-Spring it's like within a mile you got two Kroger's so I don't understand that. you're not gonna lack for the opportunities to get groceries right here in Cave Spring yeah and, and what I like too as we're traveling down this road I don't know if you saw this in the footage but there's mountains surrounding us. It's green throughout. It's just, it's beautiful. And if you continue down Brambleton, that would take you up the mountain into Floyd, which is a really neat community, uh, very artsy. And they have Floyd Fest, which is a huge outdoor festival every year. It's to a music, music, next year. that's right. Music Not festival. this year for some reason. Yeah. They weren't able to make it happen. But yeah, you can see the mountain in the distance. That's going to be Bent Mountain. And now we're passing the entrance to Hidden Valley High School. So that's to the right up there. We're making a right here on Rose Lawn, and we are heading towards the Canterbury subdivisions. There's like three or four different sections of that. So that's why we'd say the Canterbury subdivisions. Mm -hmm. So we're going to head into there in just a second. You got lots of different style of homes. Once mm -hmm. again, over here inside of this subdivision, I don't know, there's probably like about a thousand homes back there's in here. There's a it's lot. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. You look at it on an aerial map, you're like, holy cow, I didn't realize all these were tucked back in here. So you'll see the sign Canterbury, Canterbury Park. Park. Yay. <laughs> Good job. Way to go, realtors. <laughs> I really like this whole area. The subdivision is definitely one of my favorites, but you hear that all, all the time. I have so many favorites in the Roanoke Valley. There's just a lot of different feels of the neighborhoods. So Canterbury Park is, is really up there for me, especially Steeple Hunt of Canterbury. Of Canterbury. So we'll, we'll get to that in just those a minute. Are, and those are the more expensive homes, so that must be why mm. she likes those. I don't well, know. Well, no, but I did do a House of the Week of a home in steeple hunt and the pool and the hot tub and the space in the house i was like yes mm -hmm. i could i could live here <laughs> yeah and the, and the good thing about these are like you've probably got a minimum of a quarter of, a, of an acre probably a third or half an acre uh throughout the subdivision here so you're gonna have a little bit more space you've got some mature trees yes you're gonna have a little bit of privacy depending upon the layout of the actual lot and positioning mm -hmm but uh, you don't feel like you're in a traditional cookie cutter style uh, tract home. Right, and then price point of these, they're gonna be in the 400s, mm -hmm. give or take, depending on the style, the condition, but you're looking at 400s. And then as we head into the steeple hunt section of Canterbury Park, then that's where you're going to move up in price point. You're gonna average in the mid 600s yeah, again, there's some well above that, mm -hmm. some below that, but uh, you know, 650 kind of average. And I don't remember how much the one was you did out of the week. It was, it was in the 700s. Seven it was in yeah. the 700. Mm -hmm. So that one was really, really nice looking though. It was. It was beautiful. Lime in the hill. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the mountains here. You'll don't see, forget. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people are surprised when they see mountains. You'll see a lot of brick homes in this area. A lot of people love brick because it is lower maintenance. You'll also see vinyl siding a lot. Hardy Plank is not as prevalent here. And then here we are entering Steeple Hunt, Canterbury Park. That sounds so regal, doesn't it? Uh -huh. You can see these houses are bigger here. You know, most of these are probably like five bedrooms with a basement, mm -hmm. brick, very stately homes inside of here. Uh, some of them are, they, these are newer construction. I mean, probably built 90s and early 2000s. Mm -hmm. And the clients that we've helped move into this area 
really like the community, so that's nice. And some of them have some pretty spectacular views. You're gonna see one down here at this cul-de-sac. Yes. In just a minute. Hopefully the video will capture this when we come around the cul-de-sac. <laughs> Oh, darn it. Didn't catch, capture it very well, but there's a beautiful view at the end of the cul-de-sac there. You'll have to come here and check it out. <laughs> That's right. So we're leaving Canterbury Park and we're going to head out to Bridalwood now so you can uh, see the difference in terrain a little bit as well as the differences in home styles. Mm -hmm. Out here in Bridalwood, we're going to get to see some uh, cool houses. Right. Yes, I love the houses in Bridalwood. It's really nice. And then on the left here is going to be Cape Spring Middle School and the elementary school is right behind it. So talk about convenient. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. You want to be careful coming through here at school hours uh, so you don't get yeah. pulled over by the police for speeding through the school zone. And then yes. secondly, watch out for traffic being backed up in the afternoons and everybody picking up the kiddos. Yeah. It can get a little congested, yep. yes. What I like about this area is we just left more densely populated, if you will. And so quickly it turns into this beautiful scenery. You've got the gorgeous mountain in front of you and it feels like it's rural, but you're really not. You're just you're three minutes. minutes. Three or five? five. Okay. All right, we'll go with five. Find who's driving. Yeah, Turn that's right. Here. <laughs> yes. I got you carried sure you away. To drive? <laughs> I'm sure. Here we go. Now look, you got an incline to get in here, mm -hmm. but it's a state maintained road, so you're going to have, you know, in the winter time, yeah. you have snow removal. And again, remember the running joke is, ooh, let's make it a Hallmark holiday where everybody can watch Hallmark movies, drink hot chocolate, and go sledding whenever it does snow. It's going to be them out here yes. where it gets icy. Yes. We have a whole lot of fun. <laughs> we didn't get a very good snow this year. No, we didn't. We but... just got like a, like a, didn't even get a dusting. Yeah. It was not cool. So in Bridalwood, one thing that I like about it, not only the style of home, but it's going to be tucked back. So you'll see a lot of contemporary homes that are really blend into the landscape. They're almost camouflaged <laughs> and they have been designed to work within the landscape itself. So it's, they're beautiful. There's big boulders, gorgeous trees great scenery it's just it's a great place to live we've helped a few clients and we looked at a house here too we did we looked at a couple in here trying to trying to make them work we were on our search for sure I've always got my eye here <laughs> yeah and prices have gone up here just a little bit here in bridalwood subdivision we're in the mid 400s like about four hundred and fifty thousand dollars for average price point Again, remember you got that gives you some above, some below, just as a reminder. Mm -hmm. Now that house they actually sold last year and they actually updated that one. Yeah, it looks a little bit. It's a lot better. Updated. Lots of different styles of homes in here. Some are newer yeah. than others, some are in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Lots of birds flying around. Mm -hmm. Start chirping about 4.30, 5 o'clock <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> There's a certain breed that does that because I, I hear the singing. Is that right? Yes, they sing. They sing to one another in the morning early, and I'm like, oh, what is that? <laughs> Go back to bed. Yeah, too early. You get it before the roosters. So you got the houses, like Chris was saying, you know, look how they're kind of tucked back, kind of hidden. Yeah, and it's kind of hard for you to get a feel for it, even though you're seeing through, through our eyes and perspective through the camera, but there's no replacement to actually being here, boots on the ground, seeing things. We have so many clients that want to explore the Roanoke area. They give us a call and we help them out with planning their trip and understanding what areas to focus on based on their interests. But if you have the opportunity to come check this out, this area out on your own, please take advantage of that because there is no substitute and it really makes a difference when you're able just to stop and look and, and pay attention to the areas and get a feel or a vibe for the different neighborhoods. All right, so we just turned back on to Bramilton. I'm checking the time, it's 12.23 uh, on Christmas clock because I want to see how long it takes us to get to, uh, get to Kroger. <laughs> I'm That's saying, five minutes. I'm saying three, three. And the more I think about it, I think she's right. So. 
Um, anyways, you can see off in the distance there, at least I can see it, you might not be able to on the video, but it's like you can see Tinker, Tinker Mountain in the, uh, in the far distance there. That's what I love about, you know, living here is like no matter where you are on a hill or where you go around a bend, it's like the uh, topography changes and the view changes and it's just always it's so beautiful. So we always tell our girls when we're sitting in the car like, hey, make sure you actually embrace, uh, you know, where we live and just take in and absorb the majestic yes. beauty that we have. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, because I, I lived elsewhere, so did you, but... Um, growing up here, I really didn't appreciate it until I moved to the big city and then had fun in the big city. It was great. And then when we had our daughters, we decided to be closer to family, which is why a lot of clients are calling us because it's important to be by family. Yeah. And I'm so glad to be back here. We are super <laughs> blessed on that front for sure. And had we not gotten caught by the, uh, by the red light here, I do believe it would have been like <laughs> one minute. <laughs> yes, yes. I think we From were the both From the Bridalwood <laughs> entrance to here, uh, yeah. to the Kroger. So um, that's what that's my story, and I'm gonna stick to it. <laughs> I was wrong. I can admit defeat whenever, uh, whenever it's uh, whenever it's due. That's right. right? Such a good man. <laughs> and up here on the right is Crystal's healing hands. There's a salt cave in there, mm -hmm. and the ladies in my family really love going there. That's a lot of fun. It's just a place to relax, unwind. Well, did your brother-in-law go in there too? Yes, I was gonna say, I was trying to help him out. I'm not gonna but... say any names, but. <laughs> Everybody yeah. tell me I need to go in there. It's like a 45 minute to an hour experience I think though, it's, right? I think it's 45 minutes and you lounge in a cave that has Himalayan salt on the floors, on the walls. I don't think the ceiling, but, and there's music and it's just refreshing, it's detoxifying, there's a lot of health benefits to it, so you should try it out. I don't know if I can sit still that long. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I can teach you how to do that. Okay, I got it. Just land on time. Yes. So Kroger to Kroger is going to be about like one minute <laughs> as well. So we just left one Kroger. We're going to come by Ramini's here, which we mentioned earlier, and I see in the distance up here, I see Oh, One of Chris's favorite restaurants. Yes, El Rodeo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they have a great outdoor seating at this El Rodeo. You can kind of overlook the Cape Spring area. And I really love any opportunity to dine al fresco. I'll take it. And there's Ramini's right mm -hmm. there. Fresh, Fresh Italian. Fresh Italian food. So good. Yes, it is. Cape Spring Fire Department across the street here. Yes. So we're past Bramilton, we are passing Electric Road, heading in towards Roanoke City actually, towards the uh, the Grandin and Wasina area. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are still in Cave Spring. And so yeah, as you can see, there was Goodwill back there. There were some additional shops. We've got Nature's Emporium and yes. Doggy Daycare right here. So that's super convenient. They've got like natural food and yeah. that type of thing for the doggies and the kitties. So you can- And wildlife, take... there's a lot of- um... You got wildlife in there too? Well, you know, supplies. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we get a lot of bird food from there, bird feeders, bird houses. And you're gonna have a lot of wildlife in these areas here. We have lots of deer, beautiful birds, as you mentioned. We even have some bear. Yep, there was just one recently spotted over in Ridgewood area in the mm -hmm. Salem, across from Lewis Gale. I don't know if you're like me, it's like sometimes I just do not want to go to the big box hardware store. Yeah, Ace Hardware is great. They really are helpful. I think that's their line is the helpful place. <laughs> yes, right. But I really do enjoy shopping at Ace. It's, it's a big difference customer service wise and they have a lot of product. So, and we also pass Bramilton Deli. So that is a local favorite. They have amazing sandwiches and wings and Great place just to hang out on the weekends. It's definitely a local watering hole, right? Like yeah. <laughs> we, we went in there one weekend. We were sitting down and we were celebrating something for my brother-in-law. They were like, oh, let's go to Bramilton Deli. Like, sure, it's not going to be that busy. Oh my goodness, it was covered up. It was uh, good to see. It was. Yeah. And everybody kind of knew each other. So mm -hmm. it was a great, great place for the community. And they have some outdoor dining too. That would be the too. Cave Spring version of Cheers is what I think of, I think right? so, yeah, yeah, but much bigger. I mean, yes. it's a big, big place. 
And then just up ahead of us is the other Kroger, that's the Cave Spring Kroger. So again, really close to each other. Um, but behind Kroger there is Karelian Pediatrics. That is a popular place. And adjacent to where we are right now is a great greenway. You know, that greenway that feeds into Garce Mill Park. So that's a beautiful, beautiful place to take a bike. So you've got a lot of amenities right here. So as we're going along here, I don't know if you've noticed traffic wise, but you know, we always say basically you're 20 minutes from anywhere and uh, you know, it's actually, it's lunch time. So traffic is a little bit heavier than, uh, you know, the hours in between working hours. And, and with that, you know, it's like, we were just at the red light there. We had to sit there through two left turn lights to be able to make a left right. on the electric, but that's not a big deal. Uh, but anyway, so I just wanted you to see that, hey, it's not that heavy in traffic here in the middle of the day. Yeah, this is a, a it's constantly traveled though, you know, this, mm -hmm. because this Franklin Road, Electric Road 419, it, all, it has all those labels. <laughs> <laughs> this is a ma major thoroughfare all the way from Salem to Tanglewood to downtown Roanoke, actually, so. Well, that's true, yeah, you could take it all the way through. Yeah. There, you go from Salem, you hit Cave Spring, then you hit South Roanoke, mm -hmm. and then you hit downtown, so that's yeah, right. good call. Thank Forgot you. about that. <laughs> but we're heading into the Tanglewood 419 corridor, and when you think of amenities in the Cave Spring area, you know, we talked about West Village and we talked about the Promenade. Park over there. But also you're really close to Tanglewood Mall. And while that has been a mall that's kind of lost some anchor stores, mm -hmm. now it's being revitalized with Carillion has a huge pediatric center mm -hmm. there. Yes, they do. And there's still uh, TJ Maxx and Home Goods. There's Belk there as well. And there are some quite a few shops there. And then in the forefront of Tanglewood, we're seeing a lot of new development there too. So that's been neat. Mainly eateries, restaurants are going in. Yes, yeah, so you've got like you've got Jersey Mike's, you've got Panda Express, you've got Blaze Pizza, Panera, is there... Applebee's that just went in. Really? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. It's changing all the time. It is absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and Chicken Salad Chick. Yeah. That that's a that's a favorite. Yeah, and there and Roanoke County has done like a corridor like plan. So part of that revitalization of Tanglewood is part of that plan. So they're working towards making it more walkable, more mixed use facilities along the corridor, uh, instead of just being, you know, just restaurants and retail and that type of thing, mm -hmm. and office building. And I will say that talking about traffic, just looping back to that, this area does get congested very easily. Which so you'll see in just yeah. a minute, we're coming up on it now. <laughs> but while we're waiting in traffic, yeah. check out 419 West here on the right. One of our favorite restaurants because it is consistently delicious. It's got a nice atmosphere. It feels upscale, but the prices aren't, I don't, aren't in my astronomical. opinion. Astronomical. Yeah. yeah. It's not like Frankie Rollins prices for sure. <laughs> and, and Frankie Rollins is amazing food. Great atmosphere. Good for celebrations yeah. for us. <laughs> what is it, like 50 or 60 bucks just for the steak? And then you got to pay for your, um, the sides. For your sides on top mm -hmm. of that. So once a year type of thing when you go over there. Right. So if y'all want to take us out to Frankie Roll, <laughs> uh, it'd be our pleasure. <laughs> and to the right is the Roanoke Athletic Center. Call it, it the used Rack. To be. Now it's called Carillion Wellness here in South County. You're right. Thank you. Because Carillion bought up the Athletic Centers. That's the thing about being a native. You always say the old name of things, <laughs> right? Yes. right? Uh -huh. Oh, you know, turn where the old Rack used to be. It's not the Rack anymore. No. <laughs> You got Plato's Closet, Play It Again Sports over here on the left, Once Upon a Child, so, you know, uh, consignment, consignment mm -hmm. for the kiddos. Well, that was a fun driving tour. It was. You did a great job of driving us around. Thank you. Make sure you stay tuned for more videos and driving tours here on our channel. We'll see you on the next video.